Nathan Patterson played just over an hour for Everton under-21 side last night in their match against Reading at Finch Farm. The game finished 3-3. Two goals from Charlie Whittaker and a goal from Harrison Armstrong, which was assisted by Patterson. to put the young trophies 3-0 up in the game. Uh, Patterson went off. Reading pulled it back to 3-3. Uh, but it's good for Patterson to get another hour in the legs. Everton have received multiple offers from organisations uh, eager to win the battle for naming rights of Everton's new stadium. Bids have been presented to the board of directors in recent months, with commercial chief Richard Kenyon stating good progress is being made on the matter. It's interesting this one because obviously with the Free King Group looking to complete the takeover of Everton Football Club now, you wonder if they're going to have any other input into it. Is there going to be Gulf Toyota, as being mentioned in the past? Is there, Are they going to be one of the uh, the people who were discussed for this? Or has they got access to other businesses who may well be interested in name and rights? The key thing for Everton is to have many people interested in doing it. Obviously, bumps up the, uh, the cost of it, the value of it. And that's what we need in terms of creating more revenue for the football club. Liverpool City Council is looking to create a football match parking zone in the surrounding area of the club's new 52,888 seater stadium at Bramley Mordoch. Proposals will cover the area within a 30 minute walk of the stadium. Again, as we move towards taking over the stadium from Lango Rock, I think Everton, due to get the keys in four to six weeks for the stadium. Things will start kicking up now in terms of the next steps. Obviously, parking is going to be key for around the stadium. Um, it's it's a whole new world, really, isn't it? We've obviously only ever known Goodison Park, and we know that the challenges that come with Goodison Park, but obviously now moving down to uh, the docks, again, new challenges for everyone concerned. And finally, Everton have been linked with young Sunderland midfielder Chris Rigg. The 17-year-old has played six games this season and scored one goal for the Black Cats. He's also been linked with a move to Birmingham and Real Madrid. What a sentence that is, Birmingham and Real Madrid. But he is a very highly rated youngster. Everton are trying to get it back into that market to bring in highly rated younger players. Chris Rigg being monitored as we speak. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, the link is in the description. QR code is on the screen now. Thanks for watching. See you later.